Marvel Studios has officially made the Netflix Daredevil show canon to the MCU. Now, this is something that we've thought about for a long time, ever since Marvel acquired the rights to the Netflix series. But with Echo releasing next week, they released a new trailer showing footage from the Daredevil TV show. And not just a little bit, but majority of this trailer is all flashbacks from that show, telling people to watch it on Disney+. Plus. This trailer is actually super awesome. I'm currently re-watching Daredevil in preparation for Echo. Echo, and I forgot just how brutal this show actually was. And I'm hoping they keep the brutality of the Daredevil show and carry it over into Echo, at least from what we've seen with the trailers, it looks like that's going to be the case, but I'm hoping they just keep the same feel and moving into Daredevil Born Again, I'm hoping they just build off of that as well. But Daredevil fans, we won. It looks like Daredevil's Netflix show is officially canon, making it, in my opinion, the best Disney MCU show. <laughs> if you've never watched Daredevil, I'm telling you, it's in my top three shows of all time even though there's only three seasons i highly recommend watching it and i guarantee you afterwards you will be a huge daredevil fan of course you guys know i have to show off that i met charlie cox and vincent d'onofrio and got them to sign my copy of the first issue of born again and with all of the awesome daredevil content that just keeps coming out i am just so grateful to have that and so grateful that we're getting to see our characters again in the MCU officially. Does this mean that all of the other Netflix characters are connected? Most likely, considering Daredevil did have run-ins with the Defenders, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, and even characters like the Punisher who are rumored to be appearing in Daredevil Born Again. Now, do I think all of the actors who played their own roles in Defenders are going to remain the same actors? Probably not. As we know, Marvel does switch things up quite a bit when it comes to actors and adaptations, so I wouldn't expect all of the actors from the Defenders to come over, but at least we have Daredevil, at least we have Kingpin, and likely we have the Punisher with John Bernthal. I'm also extremely hopeful that the alleged story that Marvel had written out for Born Again with characters such as Foggy and Karen having a very interesting role, I hope they completely ditch that with all the reception that happened after the leaks and with the complete rewrite of the show, I'm hoping we get all of the characters back from the original series and they get to show their stuff off in the official Marvel Universe. There also was apparently an interview where one of the people were working on the show Echo revealed that the owner of Avengers Tower, someone we have not found out since the days of Spider-Man Homecoming, will officially be revealed in this show. Who knows, maybe it's even Wilson Fisk himself. This is absolutely fantastic news and does get me excited for Echo building up all of the history of Wilson Fisk. We saw him in Hawkeye, but here we're getting back to the roots of who Wilson Fisk is. And I believe Vincent D'Onofrio, the actor who plays Wilson Fisk or Kingpin, has confirmed that yes, the Netflix show is canon. I know this is a very quick video, but this is some really good news in my opinion. So let me know what you think down below in the comments and I will see you all very, very soon.